Fourth ranked Kentucky continues its run of historical powerhouses. Started with North Carolina, then Connecticut, and now this weekend on CBS, it's Indiana. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on CBSSports.com. Let's bring in CBS Sports' Clark Kellogg to uh, break down the matchup on CBS Saturday uh, here this weekend. And Clark, anytime you're going to talk about Kentucky and anybody, you're going to talk about John Wall, the freshman point guard. Uh, Roy Williams said after the game that you called Saturday that he is the best point guard prospect he has seen since Jason Kidd. What makes him so special? Well, it's a combination of things. One, you can't help but recognize his tremendous physical gifts. The speed um, with the ball particularly, as well as without the ball, the anticipation. But what jumped out at me when I first saw him, both on television and in person, Jason, was his presence and his poise. He looks like a guy who understands what it means to be a quarterback. He seems to relish the role of being a leader. Um, when I was at practice in preparation for the game um, last week, against North Carolina. His voice was one that I heard probably more than any other players. And when you talk about a freshman point guard, um, so it, it was impressive to see him up close. But it's just physical tools as well as that presence and poise that I think truly special player. Well, what about the rest of the team, Clark, though? Because without John Wall, they probably don't beat Connecticut on Wednesday night, and they probably don't beat North Carolina on Saturday. Where are their strengths and where are their weaknesses with the rest of this team? Well, they're a developing team. They're quite young, extremely talented, and I really think Patrick Patterson is a guy that's going to anchor them. Clearly, when you have a player like John Wall, Jason, he is going to be able to win games for you by himself at times. Not solely by himself, but he's going to make critical plays because he has that kind of ability and that kind of persona. So on the co over the course of a season, he'll rise up and win a few games for you just by virtue of his playmaking ability. Um, but over the course of a long season, I think you have to have balance. And Patrick Patterson, to me, is going to be the guy who anchors them inside, as well as DeMarcus Cousins, as he continues to grow and mature. Um, when he's locked in and focused, Cousins is a very impressive interior presence inside. He just has to continue to work through um, playing with frustration, playing through foul trouble, and allowing the coaching staff to really coach him to be his best. Um, so they've got a chance to have the inside-outside balance that you'd like to see. They've got to continue to work on taking care of the ball, and I think that will start with John Wall being growing as a decision-maker. He's, he's very good right now. Um, Bledsoe is the same, a young freshman guard who has tremendous ability. He, too, has to continue to grow into decision-making. And then they'll have to continue to get good perimeter shooting from Dotson, Darius Miller, and um, a couple of other guys. But I, I think they've got the pieces in place to – to, to be a, a championship caliber team between um, now and, and April. And, and maybe one of those teams that uh, you and Jim Nance are talking about uh, <laughs> there at the Final Four Very in well Indianapolis. Could be. <laughs> Indiana is a different story, Clark, though. Obviously, with everything that happened with Calvin Sampson and, and now Tom Crean took over last year in year two of his rebuilding process, where is this team coming off a big win against Pittsburgh? Where is this team in, in the stages of getting back to prominence? Well, I think they're headed in the right direction. I would clearly say they're on the right track. And they've got a good young nucleus, some outstanding freshman players. And with that, you're going to have some volatility, some inconsistency. But there's that promise that you see in players like Maurice Creek and Christian Watford, uh, Derek Elston. These guys are tremendous prospects, and they're learning under fire. They are in the deep water. They had no time to swim in the shallow water. They're right immediately into the deep water and the challenges that presents. Um, but I think they're going to continue to get better, and they will be the foundation for who Indiana becomes going forward. Um, I like what Jeremiah Rivers has done as a point guard with some experience and some, some leadership capabilities. Um, so they're headed in the right direction. I think they're probably um, right on schedule for where Tom Crean and his staff would hope they'd be right now. And that's about being competitive with each other, learning how to communicate, learning how to do the things that are going to help you win games over the long haul. So they're, um, they're right on schedule, I would think. Yeah, and hopefully stay competitive against Kentucky, who has not really blown anybody out all season long. So we'll see if that happens Saturday on CBS. Special K, thank you very much. Looking forward to talking to you throughout the entire season. Likewise, Jason. My pleasure. All right, folks, for more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. And, of course, uh, Indiana and Kentucky is the prelude to Army-Navy Saturday, all on CBS. For more on this game, again, right here with CBSSports.com. For Clark Kellogg, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.